Now that I've, my web page has popped up, one thing I'm going to notice is right up in the top here it says Mr. Whalen's web page. That was what I called the web page. Whatever you choose to name your web page is going to be right there. That's also a clickable link. When anybody going to your website clicks on that, it'll take them back to this home page that you see right here. And that's true of any site that you make in Google Sites. So if you do something in a little bit of a different format, or if you use the second template that I made that's a lot more like Mr. Brian's, you will also have that option to be able to click and go back. So now that I've got this page up in front, I want to start editing this so it matches my classroom more instead of just being a generic template. So I'm going to look up at the top here, and I've got some tools. The first one is Edit Page, which is the one we're going to be concerned with right now. Then there's a little tool here that's for new page. It looks like a little page with a plus sign in it. When you click on that, that's your spot you're going to go to to add on additional pages for any content that you want to make in the future. Then there's a button here that says more. When you click down on more, the most important thing you're going to want to remind or you're, you're going to want to remember to look for here is going to be edit site layout or manage site. Both of these are going to be things that'll change the appearance of your site later. For right now, we're going to ignore all of the other buttons and just go to the one to edit page. Because I want to take this section that says periods preps and I want to personalize it to my classroom. So I'm going to click on edit page. Now, the toolbar up at the top has changed. It looks a little bit more like Microsoft Word for anybody who's familiar with that. Um, the tools are going to be very familiar, insert, format, table, layout, and those do pretty much the same functions that they normally do in Word. And you'll see a lot of the typical like bold, underline, um, left justify, center, and then align right. All of those things are available in Google Sites to work with just the way you'd work with in a Microsoft product. So I'm going to click down here where it says periods preps. And what I want to do is, similar to the other pictures that I have here, I want to insert a picture that matches my classroom. For today, I'm pretending I'm a geometry teacher, and I'm just inserting a geometry image. I went and did a search on Google, and I just grabbed the first geometry image that I saw, just for illustration purposes, so you can see how you would insert a picture on your own. So I'm going to click Insert. I'm going to scroll down to Image. And I am going to select Choose File, because I'm going to pretend that there's no images in there for right now at the moment. I go into my Picture folder and I find this one that I have of geometry. And it's going to upload that. And it's going to give me the option to choose that picture. So I'm going to click on that picture. It's highlighted right now. And then I'm going to click OK. Now, when it puts the picture in, it's going to put it in at its original size. When I click on the picture, a little bar will come down here where I have the option to align it into the left, right, or center like I would with text. I also have the option to adjust the size, small, medium, large, or the original size. Obviously from the visual list right now, the original size is way too big for our box, so I'm going to click small. And when I click small, it's over to the left, I'd like it centered a bit more. So I'm going to click center right here, align center. Then I'm just going to click outside that. And now that picture's in there. Then I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to click save. and now that picture's in there. That's also the way that I would edit the pictures. So, for example, any of the pictures that were in here by default on the template, you can change them to any picture that's more appropriate to your classroom. So the section that's marked curriculum, you can change that to any picture that's appropriate for your room. Um, if you don't like any of these pictures, you can adjust them to your own personal style. Uh, that's one of the nice things about image. You're just going to click on that edit page, you're going to tap on the picture. Let's just say this books one, I want to get rid of it. When I click on the books picture, down here at the end is the option to remove it or to change it. If I want to put in a different picture, I would click change and then put in the picture that I want to replace it with. And then if I want the picture out of there altogether, I'm like, I, you know, I just really want the text. I don't want to deal with the pictures. You would just click remove. And then again, you would click save afterwards. So that's the way to take and enter pictures or to remove or change pictures that are currently placed there to your own classroom preferences.